Okay, welcome back fans and friends and the final ser series video of this wagon weekend also Easter just in case nobody's paying attention is this the 1972 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser and it has the standard things as the other two had the obviously estate wagon series 7 on the left side is the die cast vehicle behind the vehicle is limited edition die cast metal there's the sticker I, I have to say this again, I really do like the matte black underside. I think it's way better than the steel gray that they normally use. And there you go again, you have a limited edition, die cast in French, Canada, and the 14 plus 164 scale. So, the one thing I'll point out, and it's not advertised, but I was just reading a little bit, because, you know, why not, is you can not really clearly see here, but it says 442 there. I cannot clearly read, it says W30 under there, so that means this is one of two, as far as I know, of the like extremely rare performance version. Uh, people who know Oldsmobile know they made a 442W30 of the Cutlass, and this is just the wagon version of that. So I don't want to say it's highly collectible, but for me, it's highly collectible, because nothing's better than something rare, however... Uh, disappointment is in the fact that A, there's no rear mirrors and B, you can see a gap there the window I think is caving in so maybe a little better quality control would have solved that but other than that just a little bit of a fact there I was just reading it right now that's why I remember it so to say it before I forget it and State Wagon Series 7 exact same details as before you have all six vehicles I just picked up this one, that one and this one, I have the Black Bandit version of that, which would be nice if it comes with the black underside and the rest of the car is all black, but I did not see it, so I didn't pick it up. And the usual stuff there, it's exactly identical because all six vehicles, uh, I think we have one, two, GM, no, three GM, two Chrysler, one Ford, so you only need the three. Holly, because of the performance modifications on some of them. So, without further excuses or delays, I'm going to go ahead and open this. And you guys can just watch the cat do nothing there while I am struggling with this. Well, I'm getting better than that. It did not take three minutes and nobody got hurt. And so there we have it. The one thing I will say though, it doesn't advertise uh, 442W30 here, which would have made it nice, but anyway, it's not important. And there you can see the hood scoops. Would be really nice if the hood of this vehicle opened, but I am not optimistic on my chances. You can see it's outlined. Uh, I will try. Oh, it does. There you go. Or it does not easily. That might actually just be a manufacturing defect. I will attempt to open it. All right, well, to get past that, I will not bother to do it anymore because I did touch here something and something fell off. So with the usual, I'll try to make this a little bit quicker because I have to now find whatever it is that fell off. The cat will not help me whatsoever. So here, here we go. So from the beginning, we have here the facing down license plate, which looks like there's an imprint, but it doesn't say anything. You have inserts here on either side but everything else seems to be imprinted. Uh, why I was optimistic is because you can see there is some give, but I don't want to pull it apart and I don't want to stick a knife in there and twist. Literally make the wound worse. Uh, so there we go, you will take it. It's actually really nicely done. You can see there the two intakes, the little two imprints there. The grill is done very clearly, very well. The Oldsmobile symbol is clearly visible. Uh, everything seems to be on the front really well done. The interior is black, so it takes away from trying to look in there. You can see the steering wheel, the window wipers, the weather stripping, all that fun stuff. Weather stripping on top, not on the bottom. Door handles are white on a blue background with a white stripe. And I'm going to see if I can get, yeah, you see, it's almost clear that where you can see the 
442 and the W30. W30 is a little bit uh, fuzzy. I'm just going to quickly turn to the other side. Maybe it's clear. The 442 is much clearer, and the W30 is the same amount of fuzzy. But unfortunately, yeah, you can hear that, right? You can see the window moving a little bit, and you can see the gap up there, so that's not really well done. Uh, lots of room in the trunk, just, and it, like the satellite, it holds very well. Uh, you can see the floor plate, floor plate there. I don't have a light done very well. But, uh, yeah, it's the best I can do for now. Uh, you're just going to have to believe me. You can see some trunk details there. Uh, they have this little add-on here, which is nice. But, like I said, something fell off and is somewhere on the floor. I will have to find it and see if it can be glued back on. Or some, maybe something didn't. I don't see any. Oh, the trailer hitch. Trailer hitch is gone. That's what I'm looking for. So when I find it on the floor, I will uh, attempt to glue it back on or I will test it with some of the pickup trucks I have and see if it's compatible. But that is not Oldsmobile Vista Cruise related, so let's get back to it. Uh, I think I've done pretty much here. The only difference between the right and the left side there is the 442 is backwards on that side and the gas cap here on that side. The windows, though, they both have the gap on right at the same spot above and to the rear of the car uh, no rear view mirrors otherwise other than that the car looks really nice I mean if you want a high performance station wagon I guess this is it and you have dual muffler exhaust on the underside nice matte black all metal and GL I think it is 143 the last digit is a little bit fuzzy but otherwise, everything else seems to be clearly visible. 2019 is a production date. You can see the limited edition 03801 and the production numbers for this vehicle. And clearly, extremely clearly, is the 1972 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. And that's pretty much all that is of key interest at the bottom of the vehicle. Like I said, green light does this very well. So I gotta get, oh, and it says 442. I missed that. You can clearly see it there. So this is, is in fact that W30 version, obviously by now we know. The sports car version of a station wagon of the Cutlass, but instead of the Cutlass, it's the 442. I actually think I like this one much better than the other two. Like, look at that. I know this is the Roadrunner, and I have no idea what this is based off of, but sorry, I do I don't remember. Uh, but obviously in this series for me, I think this one is the best. Uh, I didn't even come to the trailer hitch. You have everything mostly imprinted. The grill is very well done. On that side there, you can see the 442. Yep, it says 442. Well, it reads 442. It doesn't say anything. And so other than that, uh, except for obviously the windows here and these windows I guess you can see the gap there it happens to be done very well uh, I cannot say enough good things I'm just going to do the drive test and then wrap this up because this I don't don't see any wheel defects and you can clearly see the uh, BF Goodrich radial TA on the wheels which none of the other vehicles have. So take that as you may. Like I said, this is the high-end sports car version, so maybe that's why they went through all the trouble to make it just a little bit better. And oh, rolls really well, and it stops really well. So I cannot say enough good things about this one. I saved the best for last. If I do happen to find a plastic uh, toothpick, I will try to pop this open. Let me just give it a shot. All right, I will get special tools, and I will try to pop the hood of this car if it indeed is supposed to pop. This one is just fighting me. So if I happen to do pop it, I will, you know what, just give me a minute. All right, forgive me for that last delay. I have decided it does not want to work with this Victorinox plastic separator, and it kind of sucks because I was kind of hoping... Now I guess I should go get out my M2442 and, 
Yeah, you can see there, hood wants to open. No, sorry, it does not want to open. But there is a gap, whereas in the other vehicles, there is no gap whatsoever. So it would be really nice if it is supposed to open. I don't know if I'm willing to destroy this thing because it doesn't look like that's a separate piece. So I might just be damaging it. Anyway, Victoria Knox Huntsman comes with one of these. Really handy if you need to pop a hood that it's supposed to open. Not handy if it's not supposed to open. So guys, sorry about the long video, but there you have it. The Oldsmobile, the last and I think the best of the series. There's the other two and the non-sport satellite wagon from Black Bandit. I highly recommend this one. This one's okay. And this one, if you already have this one, this is just the high performance version of that. So this is the Belvedere version. This is the Roadrunner version. And quickly, I covered it 15 times earlier, but you can see there the horizontal lines on top of the vertical. This is just the vertical. So without any more delay, I keep saying that, but I'm trying to be honest right now. Thank you guys for watching. The Thomas from Toronto and to the next one.